Okay guys, we're just gonna we're just gonna get right into this. So we are going to be recreating Gwen Stefani's look here today. Now I'm not saying I'm going to look like Gwen Stefani at all because who can and she's just a queen and absolutely beautiful. Love you, Gwen. Um, but I have been inspired to do a look. Just bring that up a bit closer. So I just love this. Really, it's impactful, but it's basic. And I want to achieve this look today. Well, I want to get close to it anyway. So she's also on the back of the other side, which is absolutely stunning. So, as you can see, I'll, I'll have a, a snapshot of this um, while I'm doing the makeup uh, so we can have a look at it every now and then see how I'm going with it. But, um, yeah, I just thought, very um, lovely cover. I just want to do this look. It's simple and just beautiful. So, let's get into it. Let's start. Let us start. My hair is the way it is and yeah so that's cool you know i have to leave the foundation to last because we don't know what the eyes are going to end up entailing but on her eyes and i'm looking at basically what it is so she's got a bit of white eyeliner in the inner rim of the eye she's got a bit of navy blue smudged in right in the deep of the upper lashes there and she's got obviously some false eyelashes on uh, but the look is quite basic, so it's just pretty much dark black shadow just to the crease. Maybe just a little bit over the crease there. Very nude pale lips. A very minimal blush colour. Bit of contouring obviously is happening there. So, you know, the, the eyebrows are nice and defined. So I think the gonna, thing we're going to start off with first is using the Milk Kush Fibre Eyebrow Gel. It's in the shade Dutch. We're going to... We're going to do the eyebrows, guys. We're just... Let's get this done. Now, I don't want this video to be crazy long, so I'm happy with the way the brows are looking there. I've been wanting to do this for like months and months and months now, and I finally got my act together and said, Julie, just, just do it. You know, like, who gives a shit, really, if it's going to turn out anywhere near it or not? The, the main thing is is that I'm inspired by it and why not it's just makeup we're just having fun okay the eyebrows are done Anastasia eye primer over the eyelids only a little bit working that in with my finger pat that in this acts as a nice basic nude base and it dries down really really well the reason I want to do the eyes first is obviously fallout can be easily cleaned up than rather if we had the foundation on. Now I'm gonna be using a shade that's not quite black and it's not quite brown. It's basically your very, very dark, dark brown. And I'm using this color here from the Mecca Cosmetica Holidays eyeshadow palette because it was the closest thing on my desk. I'm using a Sigma Concealer F75 brush, just a flat shader brush, and I'm dipping into Bad Behavior. And we're just putting that basically all over the eyelid but we're not going right we're not going too far up we are going to take it just above the crease but only ever so slightly to get the shape that Gwen has it's basically out towards the tail tail end of the brow bone and up like that so that's the basic shape just building it up a little bit more on the outer corner look at all that fallout there thank goodness we don't have foundation or concealer on yet so yes I'm pretty happy with the way that's looking at the moment and I'm just going to get the other eye up to scratch. Now, with a Sigma Pencil E30 brush, it's going over the edges there. I don't want to smoke it out. I just want to give it a bit of a softer edge going around the corner. And basically, because looking at her look there, 
it's not 100% like a sharp edged look like if you can see there it's sort of rounded so that's what we're doing okay I'm really happy with the way the shape is looking at the moment so now what are we going to do next so basically she's got some blue eyeliner and she runs it down the lower lash line that's what I'm doing as well basically running the dark blue liner eyeliner underneath the lash line very 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 close to the lash line now because I'm going to be wearing brown contact lenses yes you heard me right brown contact lenses I'm going to be putting them on I'm going to put the white eyeliner on after I've done the brown contact lenses so I will film putting it in if you get a bit squeamish with people putting contact lenses in your eye just just letting you know so I'm happy with the blue under the lower lash line there I bought these contact lenses by a company called dimple color I'll list these in the description box below. Everything's going to be listed in the description box below. I ordered the contact lenses and these are called Hello Brown. Hello Brown. So they come individually in here. And I also ordered some false eyelashes from the same company. Yeah, so basically dimple, dimple colour. You know, a portion of the proceeds go to supporting the Guide Dogs of Australia, which is really fantastic. And they're cruelty-free, pretty much vegan. So anyway, let's go ahead and what I'm going to do first is clean my hands, wash my hands, and then I'm going to come and insert the contact lenses. So I'll be back. So first things first, I'm going to remove my contact lenses, my normal ones, which... I have daily disposables because I'm a bit of a blind bat and I also wear glasses so the contact lenses that I ordered in brown are prescription one contact lens out second one out okay so now we're going to be inserting this I don't want to spill the liquid but this is the brown contact lens I don't think you can see it can you because it's got the um, solution in there so I don't want to pour that solution out accidentally that's what it's looking like brown contact lens put that on my finger and insert that in I've got a mirror in front of me and just gonna move left to right oh boy guys do I look scary oh my goodness this is with the contact lens without a contact lens oh my goodness wow oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness okay I'm doing the second eye oh my goodness guys this is kind of scary <laughs> Now, I can see, just waiting for the lotion to dry up a bit, and I'll just clean up the inner corner of the eye a bit there. Do I look a bit scary? Oh, God. So I've got the brown contact lenses in now. They seem to be, the irises seem to be a little bit, I'll just zoom it in. I mean they're moving around a little bit on my eyes um, but like this is just temporary for now this is just for this look this is just for Gwen's look okay now we've got to put mascara on because we're going to put the false eyelashes on after that so yeah she does have a wing eyeliner happening as well so let's do that actually first before we pack on the mascara there using the Too Faced Kitten mascara We're doing a wing. But 
wing is like that. I would have liked that if the contact lenses were a bit darker, but these were the darkest brown contact lenses that I could get. Really would have been great if they were a bit darker. But anyway, that's okay. Okay, wing eyeliner's done. We're going to clean this all up, so let's not fret about that just yet. Um, okay, let's continue on doing the mascara. Got the lashes on. Oh, well, I've got the fake lash here, and I've got my applicator. And we're going to put this on top of the mascara. Now you know guys I am the worst at applying fake eyelashes so so I've got the fake eyelashes on I am not the best person at putting fake eyelashes on whatsoever I can see that there is a bit of a gap there but we're just going to roll with it the lashes are on and now we're filling in the inner rims with the white eyeliner we've got the white on using Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime foundation. I'm just pretty much smoothing that on with my fingers. Foundation brush. I don't know how people can wear fake eyelashes every day. Now prior to the foundation being on I just had some sunscreen on, the L to MD sunscreen on. Using the same foundation I'm putting that on under the eyes. Working that in. Okay, so now we're just going in with some concealer. I'm just using the Bare With Me NYX Concealer Serum. A bit over the nose there. Same foundation brush, just working that concealer in. And this is just the It Cosmetics Heavenly Concealer Brush, is it? The... Heavenly Luxe Brush Contouring Time, Fenty Match Sticks in Amber, Chisel Out the Cheekbones, Down the Edge of the Nose, Under the Chin. Okay, working the contour in. Down the side of the nose, we're going to use the other side of the Heavenly Luxe It Cosmetics brush just to blend that contour in. Mustn't forget under the chin and the jawline. So I'm not going to be putting on any blush at all because judging from this, this photo here, I think all she just has is a bit of highlighter on the top of the cheekbones there so and for the highlighter I'm actually just going to be using the Fenty diamond all over with my finger and just putting that on the top of the cheekbones there for the highlighter just very subtle okay guys so now we're going on to lips I'm outlining the lips with the CoverGirl Lip Liner in Nude, the Exhibition Lip Liner in Nude, overdrawing, and filling in. Then I'm going in for the lipstick, I'm going in with Moody Margot by Marc Jacobs lipstick. Because it's quite matte. I'm going to be back with the wig on and I just bought a very, very, very cheap wig. Putting my hair all back into a low bun. Just going to wash my hands and I'll be back. We need to put on some glam earrings. And aren't these absolutely gorgeous, these earrings? Like, so pretty. These earrings are so pretty. I also just put on this little... It's like actually a dress, but anyway. If we're going to do Gwen Stefani, we at least have to make an effort, right? Not just in the face, but also, but also in the dress a little bit. Oh, I'm going to be back with the wig. 
a blonde wig which I've got here so <laughs> it's gonna be too funny all right here we go and guys and guys here it is the completed inspired by Gwen Stefani look from circa 2017 and look do I look anything like this of course I don't but look it was an inspiration right I mean zoom guys in closer This is the wig that I got. You know what I forgot to do? I've got to do the lower lashes with mascara. Let's do that, shall we? Can't forget the lower lash line. That's it, guys. We have tried we have tried to emulate this beautiful look and finally had to get it out of my system i don't think it's that bad it was fun would i do it again maybe not anytime soon maybe someone else if you guys would like me to do a look of somebody else let me know in the comments below please i would really really love to know who you'd like me to do an inspired look by the contact lenses are fine. I can see properly out of them. They are a bit big. They sort of move around on my eyes. So I think that the contact lenses could be fitting a little bit better on my eyes. But they serve the purpose for today's look, right? So like I said, Dimple. This is the brand that I got the contact lenses from. And they come with a little cleaning solution as well. Uh, they support a good cause. They support the guide dogs of Australia, which is excellent. So, um, so, the, so there's that. I will link the um, the prices of the contact. Although I did get them on special at the time, I'm pretty sure the lashes were also um, from Dimple Color as well. So that's that. Um, the lash glue I didn't purchase because I already had some lash glue by some other brand I think it was kiss eyelashes so I used the eyelash glue to stick those on but um, but guys yeah that that's the completed look I am happy with the way it turned out <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit um, I don't know weird at the moment I suppose seeing myself like this but I suppose that's that's the whole point, right? Just to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and, and just to have a bit of fun. You could imagine how long this look would have taken by the makeup artists and everything to make her, obviously, she's naturally gorgeous anyway, but just to make this look, this whole look um, come to, to fruition um, for a magazine cover, of course. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. And so yeah, so if you thought this was um, a good video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And now I'm thinking to myself, do I go out and see what happens? That is the question. I'll see you all again soon, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.